Hello, I am Ricardo Escobar again, and we are going to talk about the stuttering issue. So I did make changes on my code to reflect what I'm seeing here. This is a, an example that I, um, that I downloaded from the official documentation. Uh, it should be around here. There we go. So I basically copy this and I just added this code over here in order to connect to my 11 labs API key. Uh, we can actually give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Hi there, I'm 11. I'm a text to speech API. So that sounds just fine. Uh, let's give it, let's change a little bit. Uh, I am using 11 multilingual version too, but this text is actually in English. So let's, let's try to change it a little bit. Let's change the text to, to a Spanish. And let's run it again. Hola, soy Ons Labs. Soy una API de texto a voz. And that sounds just fine. Uh, but obviously, the stuttering happens when the text is actually l way longer. Um, now, what I'm doing is, um, this is divided by three parts. The first part is a generator function that is going to create the phrases. It's going to yield the phrases. I already have this. Uh, and then the actual code from 11 labs is going to be this, a call to the generate function. We are going to pass a text. We are going to pass the uh, a call to the actual um, generator function, in this case, text stream. This is going to be passed to the text argument as an argument. Uh, we're selecting a voice, we're selecting the model, in this case, 11 multilingual. And the, this is the second part. The third part is going to be calling the stream function instead of trying to play back the chunks individually. Uh, I'm, so this is the basic implementation from the example. So what did I did? Uh, right here, I do have my phrase generator. This is my text generator function. It's going to yield uh, phrases, uh, not paragraphs, so the text is not going to be very big. So it's going to be yielding phrases uh, stopping at um, a dot, a period, a semicolon maybe, and other um, specific signs. Uh, I do have like a, a, a set of yield characters that are going to be like dividing the, the answers. But basically, this phrase generator is going to uh, yield phrases. Um, down here, I'm calling the generate function uh, I am keeping this string chunk size argument, although I think it's not doing anything yet, uh, but I'm leaving it because just in case. And down here, uh, uh, I'm passing by, uh, I'm passing the phrase generators and argument to, that, to the text, and that's it. This is the second part. No, so the second part is going to be this. So this is the second part. Now, the third part is this line over here, 247. Uh, this line is a little bit different from the uh, from what we see here on line 17 on the example. So it's not just a stream. It's not just going to play back the audio. It can return something. It actually returns uh, a stream, uh, a byte themselves. So uh, what is going to return is the completed audio stream. So what is going to be doing here? What I'm doing here is I'm going to, on this part over here, I'm going to play back the audio. And when this function finishes, I'm going to say the uh, the entire, the completed audio stream into this variable here. And then down below, I'm going to use this variable to save the audio file. Uh, I am saving it as an MP3 file because if I check the implementation of the save function from 11 labs code, we are going to see that the only thing that, that is actually happening here on the implementation side is that we are passing the audio bytes 
and those bytes are going to be saved as a file name over here and that's it so there is no processing here uh we are just uh this function is just saving the bytes directly into our file name in, inside our our file system and call it a day that's it that's very basic uh, and that's fine that's very simple uh but this is clear to me that this file cannot be a, a way file why if you try to save um if you try to follow this documentation here for the save um for the save function um, here on the file name is a string and it reads the file name to save audio to example audio.wav but if you try to save this string this byte as a wave file uh, this is going to be incorrect although you can actually play it back on vlc for example so this is a this is a wave file that i saved Hola. just like that estoy bien gracias por preguntar y tú cómo estás ¿En qué puedo ayudarte hoy? And the file actually plays back just fine. However, if you try to open this file for anything else inside Python, uh, you are going to have um, uh, an exception from the wave uh, model. And the exception reads something like, uh, uh, there is, uh, the read header is missing on the wave file. And after searching on Google about it, it turns out that uh, the stream of bytes that we are using and saving into a file, they don't contain the riff header that needs to be on a wave file. Uh, so Python is going to try to open the file. Uh, I am using that to calculate how how long the file lasts. Uh, I mean, like, uh, how long the audio lasts, the duration of the audio. Hola. Estoy bien. Gracias por preguntar. ¿Y tú cómo estás? ¿En, ¿En qué this, puedo ayudarte hoy? In this case, five seconds. So if I try to calculate the duration of the file name, I need to open the file. And, and Python is complaining about that this is not really a WAV file. That's basically it, because it's missing the, the riff header. So this is not, uh, please, don't, 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 um, please don't do this. Don't save it as a WAV file, because it's not actually a WAV file. So uh, looking through the documentation, I found this. You can reach this place from the API reference for 11 Labs API, and then go to the text to speech section, and then go to WebSockets. And just scroll down up until you reach the output format string um, over here. And here we have output format of the generated audio. Must be one of, and these are all the formats of the audio that we are working on. So the question is, which one are we using? In my case, I believe, I don't have real actual proof for this, but since it defaults to mp3 underscore 44,100, this over here, 44,100. So it's the first one over here, which is actually an mp3 file with 44.1 kilohertz sample rate. So I already, so my guess is that this is the actual format of the audio that we are getting back from the API. And, and that actually makes sense. If our save function is this, then that actually makes sense because you can just save an MP3 file like this and it's just fine, you know? So uh, that's not the case for, for a WAP, for a WAV file, for a WAV file. So, in, so uh, I don't really have like uh, hardcore evidence that this is the case. But this is my, my biggest assumption is this, that we are actually getting an MP3 file. So in, um, if I go back to my implementation, you can see here that I'm saving the completed audio stream. These are the bytes that we are getting from the API. And I generated this uh, MP3 audio file name. And I'm saving that. And that seems to be working. I, I can open this file with, with Python with another model. Uh, uh, I don't remember them. I think it's by audio or something else. And I can open the file. It's not Python. is not complaining about it. And I can actually calculate the duration of the file or the duration of the audio file. Um, and that's it. And now the next thing is, uh, is the line. This line is the most important one. It's 247. Uh, and although this doesn't really fix uh, my stutter issues, 
especially when the uh, when the phrases is uh, are longer, uh, but it's way better than any other solution I, I already have. So uh, basically, I'm just doing what I'm being told by the documentation here, and, and that's basically it. So let's let's give it a shot. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Podrías darme un resumen de un párrafo de la historia de Caperucita Roja, por favor? Hola. Claro, te puedo contar sobre Caperucita Roja. Es un cuento tradicional europeo que narra la historia de una niña que recibe el encargo de llevarle comida a su abuela, enferma que vive al otro lado del bosque, a pesar de las advertencias de su madre de no desviarse del camino. Caperucita Roja se encuentra con un lobo en el bosque y le revela a dónde se dirige. El lobo astuto llega primero a la casa de la abuela, la devora, se disfraza de ella y espera a Caperucita. Al llegar, Caperucita se sorprende por la apariencia de su abuela, y justo cuando el lobo está a punto de devorarla también, un cazador que pasaba por allí la salva y rescata a la abuela del interior del lobo. La historia concluye con una moraleja sobre la prudencia y el peligro de hablar con desconocidos. Eso sería todo. Bye. Está bien. Si necesitas algo más en otra ocasión, aquí estaré para ayudarte. Adiós. Okay, so that's a, a good test. We can hear two things that I just noticed. One, the stutter is, a, is a still there, but it's not as bad as before. So I can still hear the stutter. Uh, or may I say, I cannot see the, uh, the audio sometimes, and that's the stutter. Uh, another thing is that when I am um, working with longer text, uh, around half halfway the, of the text, the volume starts to, to decrease dramatically. And if the answer is even longer than this, then uh, we can we can hear the actual audio um, the volume way lower. For example, ¿Hola? let's open this. Claro, te puedo contar sobre Caperucita Roja. Y justo cuando el lobo está And this is going to be more, even more noticeable if we are having this in a uh, in a so, in a piece of software like Audacity, where we can just uh, analyze the WAV file and uh, or or the audio file. And as you can see here, uh, we have a, a very high level of uh, volume over here, but right like uh, one starting around here, like a tier before the audio file finishes. The, uh, the volume begins to decrease dramatically. Y espera a Caperucita. Al llegar, Caperucita se sorprende por la apariencia de su abuela. Y justo cuando el lobo está a punto de devorarla también, un cazador que pasaba por allí la salva y rescata a la abuela del interior del lobo. La historia concluye con una moraleja sobre la prudencia y el peligro de hablar con desconocidos. So, as you can listen here, and it's very visible right here, The, the actual volume is decreasing around one third before finishing the file or finishing the stream. And if the audio is even longer, the audio is going to be uh, almost silent. So uh, I don't know why is this happening. I wonder if there is like a, an issue with the implementation because as you can see, I'm not really doing anything to the audio stream. I'm just trying to play it back. And the audio stream is just being generated by this generate function that I didn't wrote. This is a, the generate function belongs to the 11 Labs API. So uh, that may be an, a new issue, I guess. Uh, but anyway, so this is the version that I'm going to leave as is uh, because I don't think I can actually fix the stutter. But at least with this option here, if you try to just do as you are told like, like this, Uh, at least it's not going to be so noticeable. So you're going to be notice uh, the stutter less. And um, 
just take uh, just note that the I believe that the audio stream is actually an mp3 file um, but I'm not really sure about it um, and be careful when you are trying to to manipulate the audio stream uh, and try to fix it yourself because it's really hard especially because I'm not really sure about the format of the bytes that we are receiving uh, so my guess is as uh, as mentioned by uh, what's the name? Uh, as mentioned by Lucia19 um, in, in a previous post, he mentions that the first the first chunk of the stream has the header. So that's the important chunk. The, the rest of the the rest of the chunks they don't have the actual header. So if you try to play back those chunks individually, it's going to stutter a lot because the first bytes are going to be ignored because uh, the application is looking for the header and it's going to ignore those bytes. Uh, and, if that, and if those bytes are going to be ignored, obviously you're going to have like this silence. Um, so, because uh, you cannot ignore those. Uh, but anyway, so don't try to save or play back the chunks themselves. Or if you are going to divide the chunks, I think you are going to need to add a header uh, to the beginning of the new chunk uh, stream or whatever, you know? Uh, so I tried to do it this very simple. Uh, so just use the stream, the stream function when you are trying to play back the audio stream from, uh, from the stream mode equals to true, and you should be fine, more or less. Uh, and, and that's basically it. So why the volume is being lower, uh, I don't know. But this happens every single time when the audio is long enough. It doesn't happen 100% uh, of the time, but it, it begins like when the audio is long enough, you are going to notice the volume going very, very low. Sobre la prudencia y el peligro de hablar con desconocidos. And that compared to the start? Claro, te puedo contar sobre Caperucita Roja. Uh, so, uh, I don't know why this is going on, but uh, these are, uh, this is a new issue that I know I cannot fix. But the stutter uh, is going to be less of an issue you do it just like this. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.